the smoke? See that? I offer the crow my last smoke and he bites me. <laughs> Probably trying to quit. You sure he's coming? Yeah. He's coming. Do you think, Silas? Don't mind if I do. I don't want no trouble in here. things happen to a man in jail. He comes out a killer or he comes out a Christian. Either way, I don't want him in here. I asked for two. I'm looking for a scrawny little Nishna from Kitty Abenisi. Lots around here fit that description. Yeah, well, this one's mother's a butt legger. Brother's a retard. Cousin's a scumbag. Uh-huh. What's more? He's ugly. Ugly? Did you say ugly? That's right. Ugliest motherfucking Indian I ever seen. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You say yeah? Yeah. You heard me. Yeah. Yo, tough guy. <laughs> so stretch. Gonna buy me a beer? You better make that three. Ugly, eh? I think you're looking pretty damn good for three years in the pen. Fucking hell spa. Nice bike. Where'd you get it? So where's your sister? She's she's coming tonight. She's bringing the husband. She got married, you know. She married a a white guy, a lawyer. She lives in Toronto. I should be over that by now. I can fix that for you. Me 
Me and Silas are going to be studying to be licensed mechanics. Well, she's all yours then. Sadie Miracle. We've been going out since we were 13. Oh my god, did you see it? Is that Gooch? Oh god. Oh. Does Ileana know? Yeah, she's supposed to be coming home tonight. God, he looks better than ever. You know, Sadie, sometimes jail is the best thing to keep a man in shape. Well, then I guess Silas could choose a year or two, huh? I bet, he, I bet he's got tattoos, too. Remember Gord Walshin? Did him with a ballpoint pen. Did him. Hmm. It's true. It's true. Let's go. Guys, wait. He's a criminal, you know. I mean, I don't see why you guys are getting so excited about a guy who fights for the fun of it. He's nothing to look up to. And Silas told me that he killed this guy out west. Ripped his arm right off his body. Let's go. Come on! What's he doing? I think he's thinking. Heavy. Well, well, well. Hey. Hey, come on. Don't bug him. He's got things to think about. Yeah. He's got a lot on his mind. He's thinking. And what would you know about thinking? Uh -huh. Ah. Good one. Uh -huh. Hey, you're busy. Bonish. Anus. Anu. Hello, is what again? Just say Ani. Ani, all right, Ani, Ani, Ani. Ani. Uh, Ani, Ani. Yeah, you just do that. Ani, hi. Hi, Ani. <laughs> Shit. What are they doing? It's the welcoming committee. Jesus, they're gonna scratch the paint. They're just kids. Hey, little brother. <laughs> Silas, this is my husband, Robert McBee, Robert Silas. It's good to meet you, Si. Ani. Hey, Eliana, how's it going? It's going good, Frank. Nice hair. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> this is Franklin Fence Post. Ow. Nice car. Thanks, Frank. Yeah, it is a nice car. Fuel injection, AC, cruise control. Dual front airbags, hand lock brakes. Yeah, this thing practically drives itself. The boys love cars. Well, listen, maybe I can take you guys for a spin later, huh? Gee, that'd be great. Me too, me too, me too, me too, me too, me too. Let's give us a few minutes to come back and I'll see what we can do, all right? Yeah. Pa! They're here! Silas and Frank, you go help. Bobby, you gonna give Silas the keys? Oh, yeah. I'll park it for you, too, <laughs> sir. 
Be careful with this, would you say? Brand new? Yeah, it's brand new. I wonder what it takes to blow up those airbags. Can I drive? You have your license with you? Yeah. What the hell? Practically drives itself. <laughs> I'll take the pedals. Okay. Come on, Cal, get off of there. Come on. I told you not to go around jumping on cars. Nico. No. So, where are the babies? Ma. Ma. Ma, there will be loads of babies. We are really committed. We're really... We're trying, we're, Ma. We're really working at it, Ma. Believe me, there's nothing that I would rather see than just a slew of rugrats running around this place. <laughs> Did you tell your mother that I'm taking you to France? No. Ma, we're going to Paris. France. Why? Well, because it's nice there. It's beautiful there, Ma. Robert's been there, and, and it's nice, so he wants me to see it, too. Oh, I didn't see it. 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 I didn't so what are you guys talking about? Nothing. Nothing. An old friend of yours is coming to the dance tonight. What's well, great? I flew the car. Broken. Silas. Broken. Excellent car. You should be more careful who you lend your keys to. <laughs> Nothing broke. Start her up, Frank. <laughs> All right. Little Margaret, come on, let's go. Uh, I'm doing something new with my eyeliner. It looks fine. Yeah. No one's here yet anyway. Yes, they are. Well, no one's dancing. I want to dance. Coyote's here. Uh, just a minute. Little Margaret, come on. <laughs> Me a beer. You actually bought me a beer. Wow. You want it? I want it. Woo. Silas, maybe you and I should go check something in the truck for a second. All right. How the heck are you guys going to keep these girls with these actions? Frank. What? You come back in here drunk, webbed feet, eyes on the side of your head. <laughs> Frank is so lame. I don't know what they want. I don't know what they fucking want. Have you ever noticed? It's like there's some... Conspiracy with women. You look at them. They look at each other. You know they're... thinking something, right? You got no argument there, man. Nope. No argument. Bro. 
Prost. Don't buy. Cheers. It's warm. Let's go dance. You can't dance to that. <laughs> so then let's go not dance. There's a truck full of ugly. A giant ass fucking Clarence Gaskell. Come on, baby! <laughs> Charming. She walked into the bar, only low one said. With long brown hair and blue jeans and tan. Gooch. Yeah. You've been around, eh? With the girls and that. Yeah. Do you think women are thinking something? Frank. I've been in the joint for three years, okay? And the way we used to turn. If I get into mechanic school, what's, what's gonna happen to us? What are you gonna do? You mean like getting married? Yeah, I guess. It's weird, right? Right.
talking to me outside. Maybe you'd be waiting for me. I'm happy, Gooch. I've changed. We're not 17 anymore. Have you guys seen little Margaret? No. You see her, tell her I'm sorry. You're getting blood all over my clothes. <laughs> Why don't you take them off then? Hey, what's wrong? It's Saturday night. I just want to go home. I want to be alone. Well, I'll walk you. No. It's the fight, right? Things happen. We got into a fight. I mean, Frank and I, we... No! No, no what? You ask me what I'm gonna do, and I see exactly where this is going. And I don't want who it'll make you be, and I don't want who it'll make us be. Not for one more minute. And I don't want how sad and fucked up it already makes me feel. What do you want? Silas. We don't go out anymore.
mad errors. You take it. You need it. Next time you come for a visit, bring a baby with you. Goodbye, Ma. And something from France. Start without the rotor. Mother of fucking cut shit, Jesus Christ, that You know, man, last night after the dance, Sadie freaked out on me in the parking lot. She wouldn't even let me drive her home. That bad, eh? Yeah, I think we broke up. This means she's free? Hey, it's this hangover and I still got the morning wood. What can I say? day, and was always told about little Margaret, it was the funny story of how she got her name. Her family's got 12 kids, and I guess at the hospital, her dad forgot they already had a Margaret, and called her Margaret too. But they won't tell that anymore. Little Margaret's got a different story now. You know, the only other time I saw anyone dead was when Joe Buffalo died. He was in a box, and looked like he was sleeping. But little Margaret was murdered. Her eyes were wide open when we found her. Poppy left the next week. She got to be a waitress in Toronto. Frank said he really didn't give a shit. But I know he didn't mean it. Coyote put the books away. He was always getting in fights after that. Sadie, I didn't see much anymore. She got organized about the trial and trying to get more attention for Native issues. And I know that's really good. But it was a long time. And I missed her. Nothing much really happened for a year. Sadie got Hobart Thunder to come all the way from Montana to speak at our res. That's when things really heated up for Frank and me. Little Margaret Wolfchild was murdered by a drunk white man. The justice system of this country found him guilty of manslaughter. Manslaughter, not murder. He's now in jail, serving a two-year sentence. Two years for killing a member of your community. This land, this Indian land, has been ours since time immemorial. Hold it. I see we have some special guests here. The two gents in the back. The, uh, Jean You must have traveled a great distance and a great expense because of your concern for Native issues. <laughs> Come on. Stand up and take a bow. Stand up. I believe these gentlemen deserve... A round of applause. A big round of applause.
the fuck off my back! These two men follow me wherever I go. Do I have the right to tail their car? Break into their homes? Disrupt their lives? No. I am harassed and badgered because I speak the truth. This is a time for the seventh generation peoples to stand up and shout, where's the justice in it all? This is a time for action. Miigwech. Five-o? Fucking feds, eh? Yeah. Well, for sure they got an interceptor under there. Pursuit tires. High-speed rear end. Mm-hmm. Time for action. See no other choice. Okay, your turn. Time to focus our attack. Over to you. Batters up. I'm not just blowing up a building! Party! What did you do to my car? That's your car. Uh-uh. That belongs to them. Arm rented me this for the tour. Pays you back for making us stand up again, Hobart. You promised. Hop in and give you a ride back to the hotel. Nice work, Silas. Frank. Just great. see it drive by weasels. enough okay insurance took care of it yeah well no problem thank you i'm just glad we got a rental this time mm-hmm looks like you didn't bring any babies <sighs> open your gift ma So, Mom, where is everybody? They're all over at the Bengal Hall. Some big shot making speech about the trial there. What is this? What's well, perfume? From France. Robert picked it out especially for you. Oh? So, Mom, we heard about the sentence. You know, it's really appalling that... that, that 
Robert talked to some of his friends about it, but uh, apparently there's not a lot they can do. This is nice. Joseph, you go tell Matt Edda, Ileana is here. I better call. Wait, hold on a second, big fella. Ileana, what did you do with the present for Joseph? He's only here for a couple of days. You think he recognized us? We'll soon find out. You too! Go get Gooch. My feet hurt. Why? What's up? Do I take it before or after? There's nothing special about it. But what? What's wrong, Gucci? Are you sick? Etta, I don't know I need this. I'm sure you don't. <laughs> Before or after what? Mosquitoes. You too. Take Ileana's husband out. Make sure he don't come home tonight. All right. Okay. What's going on? Shut up, Frank. Where are you? Hey. She wants a baby. Okay. So how do we get him to come out? Hey, I got it, I got it. If I ask him to come out, he'll come out. It's not the problem. It's keeping him out. Let's take him to the Blue Quills. Shoot some pool. Money on the table? No, no. Sweat Lodge. Out of the question. Here it comes. Come on. Hey, come on. Okay. We give him an Indian name. You like that? Remember that developer they did an honorary chief ceremony on? What are your brothers doing tonight? You know, I have no idea what to expect from this evening. I'm kind of excited about the whole thing. Well, don't worry, you can trust Silas. Right, Silas? To my new family. Thank you. Thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll go get my coat. Come here. Riding in my Indian car Got my cheever in the glove box I ain't got no spare Got a feather from an eagle I ain't got no care The road is empty And my bottle of desire Daylight is breaking The sun touches fire Got to make another power
this place, Silas? It's uh, our ceremonial clearing. What are these things? Totems? Those are old car parts. Come on, bro. So, how do we start this? First, we have a little ceremonial brew. Where is the honorary war headdress? Pin feathers from the rare mountain snow eagle. The feathers of flight. Cool. Now, everyone. Braves, sit down around the fire, okay? Good. Now, you have the headdress on. The animal name. Ah. Choosing your animal name. First, you choose your animal, which is your spirit, the animal most like you. Well, for instance, Pete, you are? Uh, bird. Around the circle, Wendell. Dog. I am the brown bear. Silas? I am the walrus. During the ceremony, we will reveal your animal. So what happens next? Well, next, you... You... He takes off his clothes. Put a, a a Franklin stove over there. Some some shelves. Kitchen needs work. This is weird. Yeah. I know. I mean, I, I was real surprised to hear about this. Well, you were the only one I could ask. Come here.
mutants tremble before me. I am the Wolverine. I rip the throat from my enemy. I paint myself with their blood. Would you find this guy's excellent? He's an animal. I am the Wolverine. Hello. <laughs> On your feet, my brothers! Now, this is the part where you get your secret private Indian name. You are Bob. Be Bob. Fire Chief. Fire Chief! Bob, Fire Chief! Ah. Of you. I know. Bye. seen this guy get him to tell you about Clifton and the snake dance <laughs>
Sophie comes up with Bert. <laughs> oh, that's a good story, Silas. <laughs> that's a real good story. <laughs> you should write it down. Yeah. Okay. I've been writing stuff. Mm. It's real nice that you uh, helped your sister. She had unfinished business with Gooch. Yeah. It's not the only unfinished business. Oh? You know. You mean Sadie? Yeah. Oh, I see. You're gonna do something stupid to get her attention. Now that Clarence Gaskell's out of the pen. Gaskell's out? Silas, get to the roundhouse now. Silas! We are going to kill him, right? Yeah, Coyote saw him in town bragging around about how he's going to Blue Quills tomorrow night. Jesus Christ. Okay, listen up. We gotta get organized here. You know he'll be with his buddies. That bastard. Will be tough to get to. Oh, so we're all gonna kill him now, huh? Coyote! You guys know what you're getting yourselves into? This is not a cartoon. You shoot or stab somebody, they're not just gonna get back up. He might be coming to the dance, but he's not getting to the dance. We'll take him out on the way in. Yeah, excellent. You got a mad dog. You kill it. I got my dad's 22. McNaughton keeps a 44 in the back of his GTO. Coyote, what do you got? I've got my fucking hands. Okay, man. Round up what you can. We meet down at Thompson's Point first thing in the morning. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? 7.30. All right, we're gonna kill this son of a bitch. And don't no one so much as breathe a word about this. Smoke break? Sure, just give me a sec, okay? So, uh, you, you've been pretty busy? Yeah. Lucy lost all these envelopes, so we had to start right back at the beginning. 2,000 envelopes. Wow, 2,000? Yeah, well, we weren't getting that response from the politicians, so we were going right after the press. It's a lot. Even my dad's helping. So what do you think it's going to do? Well, we're pushing for an appeal. What about you? Did you and Frank write those things yet? 
what's happening. Great. That's great. Look, Silas, I should get back. Look, look you know it's not going to do anything. Oh, and I suppose you have a better idea. Maybe. Sure. Like what? Like some real action. You know, Silas, you can be a real jerk sometimes. Did you tell him I was back? Well, what did he say? I forgot. Okay, I'm Clarence. I've just stepped outside for a smoke with Silas and me. Since Silas ain't here, I'll play all the parts. <clears throat> now, when you hear me start coughing, that's when you start moving in, and fast. Got it. Hey, Silas, how about a smoke for a good buddy Clarence? Here, Frank. Here you go, buddy. Gee, Frank, why don't you spark it up? I'm a dumb white motherfucking killer who has never had a light on him, and I'm too <laughs> pissed to see. <laughs> don't be so hard on yourself, Clarence. It's not your fault your brain is the same size as your dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what'd you say? <laughs> I said... <coughs> 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 Shit! I swear, man, everything is loaded. Pete! You're not bullshit! This isn't a game, Frank. Silas, you and Frank, tell Gaskell you caught some hash. He'll be outside with you like that. We'll be in the woods by the hall waiting with the guns. You have it? Do you get that? I still say we need to practice our shooting. with guns is they're too loud this is the best way to kill a man you got the element of surprise it's real quiet if you do it right First thing, if they're a real fighter, you can't get in close, draw some blood anywhere. Hand, arm, leg. The sight of their own blood starts them to panic right away. Then go for the throat. You can approach from the front, side, back. It doesn't matter. Because chances are you hit the artery right off. Once hit, 
You're laughing. See, they can't scream. Because they're drowning in their own blood. But you got that? Clifton. Sick. Look what I got. You got a blade? Yeah, it's in, it's in my boot. Okay. Okay. Another person's pain 
came in from outside, past the blue car in the parking lot. Hot and heavy action going on there. She didn't look more than 14. Terrible thing. And there were two guys. Just now? Just now. What's happening? You're smoked, man. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah. I got it. Well, let's go, Silo. Let's do this. Come on, spark that shit up. It's, uh, in my boot. What do you want me to do, light your foot on fire? You got any matches? <sighs> what a fucking loser. <coughs> 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 Don't move, don't move. It's supposed to be Frank coffee. <coughs> Look at you, are you gonna fucking live? <coughs> right now. Pussy whipped. I was talking to you. How could you walk away? Not now. Right here. I cut my foot. Okay, okay. Let's do this together. Okay. We'll do this thing right now. Okay. Still, hope you got off. Fuck you, man. I'm put up with it. Hours of it. Sadie this, Sadie that. Hey, all right, all right. As soon as I get myself something. Hey, hey come on, Chief. Let's get the bastard.
ankle. I cut myself. You can't arrest him. Get back. Stand away. Look, I'm telling you, he was with me the whole evening. Get back. I am a lawyer. I am with Noble and Fletcher. Don't, Robert. It's okay. He's my brother. Name? Frank Fence Post. Address? Where do I live? Yeah, where do you live? I live where the land meets the sky, where the eagle and the raven fly free. I live under the sun and the moon. Where do you live? I'm his neighbor. All of you, strip off. Even the boots. Now, if the lab matches Gaskell's blood to the blood on that knife, or we find so much as one little clot on those clothes, we're charging all of you with first degree murder. Now, shut down! Who did it? Still a loser, eh, Gooch? Still a loser. Jesus Christ. Pigs. <laughs> Keep moving. Get out of here, you turkeys. Don't get cute, Buster. Or you'll be pissing ice cubes for the rest of your life. Hey! thinking something more than you know Frank more than you'll ever know to jail Silas 20 years we had to we had to I know Thank you.
three months ago now. Sadie and I, we're back together. Gooch is doing some time for busting up the cops, but they never found out who killed Clarence Gaskell. Ileana's pregnant, which Ma and McPhee are real happy about. No one's talking, eh? Frank and me got into mechanic school in Toronto. I wonder how long I'll be gone. back for this trip. I'm the one with mm -hmm. You know, Silas, that uh, story you wrote for your entrance exam is pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Frank's was wicked. I mean, he should get it published. You really think so? Yeah. I think Frank's is the best thing I ever wrote. <laughs> Get 